In this video, I'm going to talk about what analyzing 43 million retail traders' trades can teach us. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so I came across this article where one uh, global broker analyzed 43 million or 44 million, something like retail traders, executions and trades and revealed their findings. Now, I started to dig into this a little bit more and I thought, you know what, this is a great thing to share with you guys as we're all retail traders. I learned something from it and hopefully you can too. Now, some of the stuff Take with a pinch of salt, they didn't go into too much depth about it. I assume a lot of it is proprietary, they want to keep it for themselves for their own commercial gain. But they released some information and I thought, hmm, this is quite interesting. So, it's all Forex by the way, so it's very, very specific to uh, trading currencies. What they found is that, and again, I'm not, you know, th there are going to be some details here that are a bit vague and I'm not purposely being vague here, it's just literally, this is the information they supplied out there. They found that on average, uh, people trading had uh, an 83% chance of losing money over a 12-month period. Now, when they dug into it, they found out that actually there are traders, most traders have a more than 50% success rate on their trades. So what does that mean? In other words, when they take a trade, they have a more than 50-50 chance of it becoming a profitable trade, whether that's one dollar well that's a million dollars okay it's just being positive on that trade so just bear that in mind as we move through this story and interestingly i've just taken a few of the currency pairs where they said hey you know people are profitable people are not apparently people trading euro us dollar are profitable on 61 percent of their trades and then some of the others i couldn't quite get the actual number because it's, a, it's an actual graphic but it's about this AUD, JPY, around 52% of people are profitable. And then we've got GBP, USD, around 50% of traders are profitable. Uh, as, as in, let me just let me just define that. Make a trade, have a trade that is a, makes them money, whether that is $1, one cent or a million dollars. It's a profitable trade, not the magnitude of profitability, not over time, but on each trade. And I assume they kind of went from, you know, someone being in a position to being flat and, and you know, whether that made them money or not. I don't know the details weren't fully there, but I thought it was interesting. And I thought, actually, you know, that kind of makes sense because really the market is random a lot of the time you know people trading this trading that like we've got people a lot, lot long going short going long going short uh, it kind of makes sense however so what's causing the people to lose money the obvious thing isn't if you've watched any of my videos before you're going to see that this is kind of the the the, the balancing game that we play and we've talked about this before risk reward versus probability of of profit so this is kind of the probability of winning if that's the case, how come 83%, whatever number was, 85, 90% of trades are losing money? We know why it is. It's because of the risk reward ratio. If they are making these trades on US dollar and they're making $100 every time they're right and they're losing $200 every time they're wrong, they are going to lose money. And we can see this because of that statistic, the high number of losers versus the relatively interesting number of winning trades. So what does that mean for us? It means that we need to pay attention to our risk reward ratio. We need to not get sucked into doing the bad habits. Let me return to that point in a second. Let me just note this point. They then said, hey, if your risk reward ratio is greater than one, and I assume they did that by working out people who uh, made more profit based on their stop loss position so i guess they can only get that data from from their stop or they they kind of worked it out from their losing trades if they were losing 100 most of the time they were making you know 150 i, I assume that's where they got this data from so if your risk reward ratio is greater than one then you've got a 50 percent chance of being profitable after one year that's pretty good considering the statistics are so bad out there and most people are going to lose money in the first kind of three months of trading that's pretty good that tells me that hey even if you don't have a big strategy even if you're kind of struggling as long as you focus solely on this risk reward ratio and don't go crazy with it go, go 10 to 1 but maybe just make sure you're doing a little bit more than your risk and and and, and sticking to that rule you've got a good chance of of actually still being in the game in the longer term especially if you're trading very very small as well because don't forget if you're trading very very small you can afford to lose money and still be in the game. It's when people start, you know, amplifying their their risk. So, 
Well, if we go back to this point of uh, risk reward ratio and you know percentage of profit, the point is, guys, is that I think it's it's it maybe not down to risk reward because risk reward um, perhaps masks the underlying thing that a lot of traders do, which is you've got a trade, it's going in your direction, you take profits quickly, you want to take profits quickly. It's a common thing, a lot of traders do this. They see a bit of money and they take it and they take it and they take it. And statistically, that is what is killing your chance of success. It's what killing your opportunity. And that's one of the biggest things you've got to try and get over. And that shows you this when they dialed up the numbers and they've said, hey, when people are taking more on their profits than they are on their losers, very simple concepts, something we talk about all the time. And, and, and in reality, you see the numbers back it up. Then the chance of profitability of a trader go way up. So just bear that in mind, guys. Just bear in mind that being cautious about just snatching those profits, being patient, letting the trade play out, you know, finding the opportunities that offer that risk reward ratio that gives you that uh, chance of success. Because assuming you're one of these guys and you're trading euro, euro, dollar, and you've got a 61% chance of it being right or 52% chance of, of being right. 50 is not quite great, great, you know, good enough, but you get the point that things is most of the time is more than 50. If your risk reward ratio is good, then you're gonna be in the game for the long term. And one final thing is they did a little bit of a study on their worst losing traders thinking, hey, can we find out um, the pattern of the losing traders and flip it for the winning and flip it to kind of have a winning trader strategy. The losing traders, the, the, I don't know how many people they took, maybe the top 1% of losers, the worst losers, whether that was monetary value or consistency, I don't know. But the find that they had from that, the summary they had from that is that losing traders, the, most of those lost money because they were over trading. So that's another thing to think, guys, if you're over trading, just remember that that puts most people in the losing traders category. Can you trade actively and make money? Yes, you can, but you've got to be careful you're not over trading, over trading because commissions are going to kill you. And probably that company will be like, hey, to be honest, over trading is good for us because every time these guys are churning money, churning money, we're making spread, 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 spread. And they're probably losing 80% of their money to the spread as opposed to actually losing it to the market. So the, the company, whoever did this study is thinking, you know, that's, that's quite good for us if that's their model. Anyway, and bearing in mind, guys some uh, traders out there like the company that we recommend into trader don't actually trade against you they're hedging all their stuff in the market so it wouldn't be uh it wouldn't be a good thing for them for that they prefer to pe people to be in it for the long term but anyway this is interesting i thought i'd share it with you because it all comes down to the one thing which is risk reward ratio yes we can go really complicated with stuff yes we can dig down into different kind of rabbit holes of how to become better but you know the numbers are there retail traders if your risk reward ratio is above one you got a pretty decent chance of longer term success thumbs up if you enjoyed the video guys comments in the comment section below as always keep the risk managed i'll see you in the next one goodbye